The Baron Citadel is the new book by Peter Hamilton Giles, actually not so new since it was already published in 2015 through Three Hands Press. But this has been significantly reworked and it's now in the format that the author originally had in mind when he first wrote it. Uh, he's now published it through his own uh, publishing house, Atramentus Press, and it's a beautiful result. It's a really lovely, lovely book, as you can see, uh, with um, uh, a textured paper cover, although there are many different versions, many different editions, uh, some much, much more expensive than this one. But this one being the standard hardcover, uh, I have to say that it is absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous if i flip over to the back we're going to get to see this um interesting uh pattern uh, let, let's use that word for now which is definitely reminiscent of the voodoo veve sigils right of the voodoo spirits the voodoo lua uh, uh very very much in that same style with those tapered off uh, ends to every line and and you know curls and so on uh, if you have a look online at um uh, other if this is new to you uh, if you have a look online for the for the word veve just v e v e um uh, accompanied maybe with the word voodoo uh, you'll see that this is very very much that same style and well for uh, for good reason uh, peter hamilton giles explains in his introduction that this was really inspired by a trip to haiti uh, that he made some decades ago uh, fascinating uh, uh, introduction fascinating preface there that he that he writes for us uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about the contents in a few seconds. Let me just finish up with the with the form here. We've got this really lovely black ribbon, which is um, which is uh, that that's I really like to see that you know the ribbon that's been uh, perfectly cut right, and it's uh, it feels it feels solid. Um, it doesn't feel cheap in any way. These end papers, which are. Uh, uh, just very, very nice yellow. Uh, and then for the first 100 uh, pre-orders, Peter Hamilton Giles actually signed them, which is really nice. I've seen various versions uh, with, with different um, sigils at the bottom there. Uh, anyway, very, very cool. And then this tipped in page, which isn't available apparently in all of the uh, versions in all of the later editions beyond the first 100. Uh, not very many copies of this book were made, but I believe it's still available. Um, it is... Uh, <sighs> It, um, uh, how to put it? It is an initiatory path and it is a full description of that initiation, right? Um, uh, which has to be performed in a graveyard. Uh, so, yeah, it, I'm not I'm going to say it's not for the beginner <laughs> by any extent of imagination. Uh, I think that you are going to need to already be quite. Uh, it, well informed about the uh, the, the left hand path in general, uh, at least at least some of the some of the, um, uh, the, the, the the thought streams, some of the ways of thinking of the left hand path. Now, this is not necessarily um, uh, the left hand path. Uh, Peter Hamilton Giles calls this the dirt uh, track path. Uh, and it's um, it's directly related to the crooked path of Andrew Chumbly. They were colleagues, after all, uh, working on the dragon dragon pillar. Uh, I, I think that's right. I'm afraid I don't have any books by Andrew Chumbly, uh, but um, I'm told that they're very very interesting um, uh, for people who who are interested in this particular current, of course. Now, what I liked about this is that. If you've ever picked up any other book by Peter Hamilton Giles, you'll know that his writing style can be extremely dense. And, um, uh, you know, it feels at times that what you're reading just is just meaningless. 
And what happens to me, at least in these first few pages, right? I, I, I couldn't say if it was 20 or 50 or 100, actually. Uh, but um, yeah, actually about, uh, uh, yeah, about, about 50, uh, is that I would read a few lines and just doze off and have all kinds of strange visions. Uh, very, very interest. I mean, this language is known to produce that effect, right? It's the language that is used by hypnotists uh, to put their clients into a trance. And that's exactly what would happen to me while I was reading these early pages. But then once you actually get to the, uh, to the process itself, once you get to the description of the, um, the, the, the ritual, it's as clear as day. Uh, his, his writing style is, is very simple, very clear, very to the, to the point, um, very easy to follow, uh, which is exactly the way it should be. Um, so, yeah, I, I actually really, really appreciated that. And then, of course, we've got this absolutely gorgeous uh, artwork by um, Carolyn Hamilton Giles, um, which is yeah, dotted out all the way through. Some in colour, as you can see. Uh, yes, terrific stuff. And then uh, towards the end, we have this uh, tantalising proposition of a second volume. Now, this book, as I say, has been out since 2015. But it seems that um, uh, Peter Hamilton Giles is interested in turning this into a complete current. Um, uh, and... Uh, this would be the, the 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 preparatory step, all right? Um, <clears throat> once once the the practitioner had the processes in this book under their belt, then they could go on to, uh, to 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 perform more. Very interesting that he completely acknowledges his um, uh, 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 Haitian uh, voodoo um, uh, influences uh, in this. In this little uh, text here is just yeah very very tantalizing. Now, as I, I, there there is already a series, already a current under uh, underway. Uh, if I just um, zoom in a little bit here, yeah. Sorry that the quality is not great when I zoom in, but uh, we have the Book of the Black Dragon, which I've already reviewed, and then Book of the Black Dragon Volume Two, and then the Codex Altheban Malik, which goes along with the. Uh, it's it's basically supplementary uh, material for the first volume. We're waiting for the next codex, which will be the supplementary uh, material for the second volume. But anyway, that's that's a that's basically a series of six books, three of which are made. We're waiting for three more um, uh, for for the book of the Black Dragon. And well, it seems like we're getting a a parallel. Let me zoom back out here. Um, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it seems that we're going to be getting this parallel uh, system uh, to go along with it. Anyway, uh, a very, very beautiful ritual, whether you're interested in actually performing it yourself or not. Yeah, as I say, I... I, I definitely don't recommend this for the, uh, for the, for the absolute beginner. I absolutely do recommend it for anyone who is already quite um, quite knowledgeable about the ideas of sorcery uh, and and so on. So there we go. The Book of the Black Dragon. <laughs> Not at all. The Baron Citadel. Quite on the contrary. Forgive me. Um, the Baron Citadel by Peter Hamilton Giles. An absolutely gorgeous edition. And uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing more uh, uh, in the future. Hopefully that will actually happen. Uh, Peter Hamilton Giles, one of the most prolific authors in the field at the moment. So I certainly wouldn't be surprised. There we go. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you very soon with another video. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.